Hey guys, it's John, your Tennessee flying farmer. It's Christmas Day. I'm out here just for a little bit. I um, want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas, first of all. Day 25, of course, of the Bill Challenge, so we're getting down toward the, the end of this, this challenge. Um, today, I've, I've stopped on the tires, wheels, that kind of stuff, and I wanted to do something that wasn't hardly, well, maybe didn't take hardly as much thinking because I've got, I'm, of course, farm stuff and all that today, too. Um, anyway, I've got these door seal pieces that actually go in there. I've had a couple of questions, a couple of people comment that they would like to know how I scallop these things and make them actually look good. And I know I went over the scalloping a little bit before, but I'm gonna to try to go into a little bit more detail of how I do it and actually show the entire process of getting it to look good. Um, on these, I've actually, I've marked them closer. Lots of times when I'm doing the scalloping for pieces that aren't seen, I'll just do them essentially just by eye. I'll try to make them look right, try to keep the edge distance pretty close, and I'll make sure I'm, I'm okay on the edge distance, but I won't necessarily measure and get all of this perfect when it's not visible. Well, these are gonna be visible. They're gonna be right there in the door facing, so I'm marking these so I can get the scallops in the right place, get them the right depth, get them uniform, and that's what I'm gonna try to get done, at least on one side. I don't know how far I'll get tonight, but we'll see what happens here. The only other thing, uh, I am kind of, I guess, thinking a little bit. I'm trying to get these axles and stuff kind of figured out for the Super Duty. Um, they have a very cool hubcap that is actually part of the nut, so it screws on and off and goes. The hubcap will cover the center of that where the bearing is. It is a really, really cool setup, so I'm, I'm anxious to get that going. Uh, got a couple of little issues there. We've got to straighten out and... Of course, I've got quite a ways to go to figure out exactly how to get this mounted to the Super Duty, but one step at a time. Anyway, today I'm going to work on the scalping, and let's get to it. This guy's good. Now, here's our farmer, John Humbred. Look at that! Oh, my God! That was Whoa. good. The first step, once I got everything laid out, is to use the hand arbor press uh, and the knockout sets. I went over this in a previous video, so I won't go into details there, but that's the first step. All right, here's the freshly scalloped piece. As you can see, I haven't got the square corners all rounded and nice yet, but I was kind of curious just exactly how much difference that actually makes. So I've got all these scallops. Like I said, there's quite a bit more trimming yet. Um, I'm going to put this on... Let's see, we'll put it on grams because it's, I don't think it's going to add up to much. Seven grams is what those scallops, eight, it just went to eight. Eight grams is what those come to. So if we convert that real quick, you're looking at 0.3 ounces. Um, of course, that'll be 0.6 by the time I do both sides. And the other pieces because I'm gonna scallop this thing on down to there. This piece is actually a little thicker. I'm gonna scallop it, and the scalp will get sh shorter and shorter, closer to the edge. So when it gets down here, there won't be much of a scallop at all. But anyway, that piece is a little thicker. So um, let's say, I'm gonna guess maybe, ah, gosh, I don't know. What do you guys think? That'd be, it'd be over half an ounce per side, especially by the time I get the little corners cut off of this and rounded. So we're talking, we're talking maybe maximum. We're talking maybe a couple of ounces for both sides. Guys, that doesn't add up to much. That's not even remotely worth the effort, but that's what I'm working on. Once I got the basic scallops punched out, the next step is to use my little hand nibbler and trim a little bit more on the outside edge, get it cut down to where it's the edge distance to the holes closer. Uh, this is kind of just a rough cut, getting it ready to be finished. I just finished trimming, rough trimming this some more. Um, I actually brought these corners down quite a bit because there was a lot of edge distance there between that and the hole. So um, that's going to add up to quite a bit more weight than what I showed there. And I'm not real sure exactly how to even measure it because I can't keep up with all those little pieces. And then I've still, of course, I've got to sand all of these smooth. So there'll be a fair amount of aluminum sanding dust by the time I get completely through too. Which, guys, it's still, it's not going to add up to anything even remotely worth the effort and time it takes to do it. 
Um, <laughs> recommended, no. It's, mm, I think I'm gonna like it though. I think it's gonna be nice there once I get it trimmed up and see what it does. I just use a belt sander to get the edges shaped a little more, still kind of rough, but then I use my little hand belt sander to do the, basically this does the rest of it. Um, I'll smooth up the edges on a buffing wheel, but this gets it really, really close. Now I have the rough part of it done. You can see the, the curves are getting a lot nicer looking, a little more uniform. I got a little more touch up work to do, but I'll run it through what essentially is my buffing wheel to get it to where I feel like it's close enough to, to get it installed or Clico back on the plane. And then I can sort of mark where I wanna make tweaks and make it look look like it's supposed to be that way. I think it's getting pretty close though. So one more step. And then I just use a buffing wheel to take the sharp burrs off and finish it up. So I've got this one ready to go back on there, but I had an epitome there just a second ago. Um, I have a smart moment just every once in a while. I was thinking about the weight of this thing and well, like I said, I have a smart moment every once in a while. I guess a, even a blind squirrel can find a nut every once in a while, but Anyway, my thought here, I actually have the other one that I haven't scalloped yet. So let's do this again. We'll just get a, a true weight. I'm gonna leave that on pounds and ounces. I'm gonna grab the one that has not been scalloped. Give me a second, equalize it is 1.4 ounces. All right, we'll take it off. We'll put the scalloped one on there. It is 1.0 ounces so i've i've erased 0.4 ounces so not hardly not hardly half of an ounce off of this so it's like i told you guys before it's not even remotely worth it but i think it's going to actually look pretty good on there i will trim out the carbon fiber vinyl around where it actually meets up. So it'll actually have a flat surface there that is metal to metal and not the carbon fiber film. I, I don't want there to ever be an issue of the carbon fiber deteriorating in such a way. And like I said, it's, it's, the carbon fiber film is super thin anyway, so it's, it's not gonna deteriorate much, but I just don't want there to be any room there. So what'll happen is when I put the fasteners in this, I'll have a, a probably a quarter inch hole that I'll trim out on the carbon fiber and it'll essentially spring this out just ever so barely from rivet to rivet. If it ever deteriorates, hopefully it'll just spring itself back together as it deteriorates. Um, and you know, like I said, we're talking about maybe four mils, I think is what I measured that at the other day. So it's, it is very, very little. So yeah, that's where I am. Okay, I've got it temporarily Clico back in. You can see the carbon fiber sticking out by the scallops there. I think it's going to look really good when it's actually finished and uh, Cerakoted, power coated, painted, whatever it is I decided to do there. I got down to this other piece. It is actually a fair amount thicker and I'm gonna scallop at least the first two or three. You can see I've kind of got the holes to where they lead back over a little closer to the edge where it matches the lower part. So I will scallop it and get it fitted to where it all, I'll try to get it to where it all looks like it's supposed to be that way and looks professional and nice. I won't scallop it all the way to the bottom hole because it makes the bend here and there's already a, a piece trimmed out where it makes that corner. And I don't want there to be anything that creates a stress point where it could crack across there. So I may not scallop that last one at all, or if I do, it'll be very little because I don't want that distance between here and this edge to be lessened or any less strength at all. Anyway, thank you guys so very much. I really appreciate y'all watching the channel, being enthusiastic with me about it. Things are, are coming together and I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I mean, I know it's slow progress and the time's limited. We've got just, there's so much going on in general and, and uh, everyone's busy. It seems like the whole world's just, just too busy to have any time to relax, but that's for sure for this old boy. Anyway, again, thank y'all very much. Comments, likes, shares, uh, all that. I, I greatly appreciate it. Every little bit helps on that end. And I truly hope everyone has a, an exceptional or has had an exceptional Christmas. And I will see if I can get out here tomorrow and get you guys some more content. And see you tomorrow. Well, I'm finished on the farm for the moment. Well, I shouldn't say finished. I'm quitting on the farm for the moment and walking home. Um, 
Yeah, silo and loader got this thrown out really slow as I was wrapping up today. So I guess tomorrow I get to go up the silo and probably need to go up both of them and check them and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, I'll throw in just a tiny bit of farm footage here as we go. I don't know if you guys enjoy the farm footage or not. Uh, leave me comments on that too. I'll try throwing a little more. I know my channel is kind of based around aviation that's where it started and got my fans and that kind of stuff all my viewers they just got fresh feed so they're all pretty happy at the moment when you baby right over there and just caught it a little bit ago and gave it a tag anyway I'll throw in a little piece of the reality of farm life from time to time. It's just a just a little bitty snapshot of the whole day, but it's something. So, on my way home, let's do a little airplane stuff now.